He came face to face with ships that sometimes were 100 meters in diameter, of varied shapes, and that really placed him in a situation that few people, in global terms, had the opportunity to witness. We could hear a sound like an air conditioner, that kind of dull sound. And deep inside the sound, there was a clicking noise, like the sound of a ratchet. This noise coming from the ship was very clear. Hollanda describes in detail three different encounters with alien spaceships. These are the drawings he made to depict his first encounter. He told the researchers that his second encounter occurred one evening while he and his team were standing on the beach. The light came close to us and stopped high. It was high, quite high up there. But it stopped and actually made a circle around us. It made a circle and then took off toward the east. The captain then describes his last and most shocking encounter. He tells the ufologists that he was visited by a humanoid from one of the ships while he was in bed. I was lying on my side. Suddenly, a very powerful flash lit up the room. I was startled. I heard a strange thing, and immediately afterward, there was a being behind me, hugging me. It was a rather strange situation. The captain then goes on to describe the alien. It was a meter and a half tall, more or less, dressed in a suit resembling an astronaut or a diving suit. It was kind of soft. It wasn't very tight. I didn't see the face. It had a mask that was lead gray, and I couldn't tell the details of the face. I didn't see any eyes. I didn't see any shape. Holanda also tells the researchers that the alien spoke to him. I was very frightened. And that thing behind me, hugging me, squeezing me. And it spoke into my ear in Portuguese. With a sound. It seems like a computer, that metallic voice. It spoke into my ear. Take it easy. We're not going to do you any harm. Holanda says that the alien then disappeared. He could tell us with such a precision what happened. And you can see that there was a, a great variety of objects operating in this area. Some objects, strangely, they would come from the jungle. They would come from the, between the trees. Some other would come from the sky. And a few others would come from the water. That's very amazing. The captain makes another startling claim. He shows the ufologists his arm. There appears to be an object implanted under the skin. He says that the alien put it there during his last encounter. Flexible, plastic, here. You press and it shows up there, this point here. Did you ever get it x-rayed? Yes, but it didn't show anything. In July 1997, Holanda's story is published in Javier and Petit's UFO magazine. But those hoping that his startling disclosure will lead to a second investigation are disappointed. Instead, a new chapter of the Colaris mystery begins.